a very good day to you and welcome to the program. It's just so great to be with you again. I want to speak especially today to the, the Tuskers. That's right, the bull elephants <laughs> and the matriarchs, those mothers, the mothers of the herd. Have you, have you ever been to the game reserve and seen a herd of elephant? I love elephant. They're not my favorite animal. My favorite animal is actually a buffalo. I love watching buffalo. But to see the way in which they interact as a family, that old tusker, that male, you know, he's so big, that bull elephant, that when he walks in the sand, he leaves trails in the sand. You can see where his tusks, they literally drag along in the sand. He normally stands underneath a tree and he just rests there and he watches the herd. Same thing with that buffalo, that big one with the big, big horns. He just stands back a bit. In fact, my wife and I were at the game reserve a few weeks ago and the Lord gave me my heart's desire. We came across a herd of buffalo grazing right at the edge of the road. And slowly but surely, it always happens, the young calves, that's right, they came up, they're very inquisitive and they start eating closer and closer. They were so close that I could have stepped stretched my arm out of the window of the car and touched them. And what happened? The mother came alongside the calf and she was grazing as well, also inquisitive. Then all of a sudden, everything changed. This big bull buffalo walked up between the car and the calf and the mother and just quietly moved them out the way. I was so touched by that. And he stood between us and the female and her calf. Why? Because he was protecting her. I want to say to those of us who have got responsibilities, I'm talking about fathers, I'm talking about grandfathers, I'm talking about mothers and grannies, I'm talking about leaders in our country. We need to be more vocal. Folks, if we do not speak up, the young people will have no leadership and they will run wild and they will suffer as a result of our laziness or our cowardice that we don't want to speak the truth. I want to say to you that our lifestyle must speak louder than words. Young people should want to emulate us. They should want to be like we are. Then we're doing the right job. We are not here to become popular. We are here to deliver the Word of God. I'm talking about holiness. Holiness is the end product of obedience. When we become obedient people, we start to live the Word, then we automatically become holy people. In fact, if you look in the Word of God in the book of Hebrews, chapter 12 and verse 14, this is what it says. Pursue peace with all men and holiness, without which no one will see the Lord. We've got to work, walk and work in a manner which brings glory to God. We've got to call sin by its name. You know that old cliche, in order for sin to abound, all that good men and women have to do is nothing. We need to start being like that old tusker who looks after the herd, like that old bull buffalo who looks after and protects the, the, the weaker the more vulnerable um, sex. Folks, we need to call sin by its name. I turned on the TV the other night. I saw a man who's an icon, an icon in the world as a sportsman. Young people watching everything that he did. And I'm not even going to go into detail. He is living a life which is contrary to God's holy word. And I'm telling you, those young people will follow him unless we sp stand up and say it's wrong. Until next time, God bless you and take the leadership in your home. We trust that you have been blessed by today's message. For more information, please visit angusbucken.com.